Reed Johnson here, and now we are going to create the wristband portion of the smartwatch. So the wristband is this portion here that runs the circle that fits around your wrist. So here in Fusion 360, I'm going to start the wristband by creating a sketch. I notice right here on my toolbar, I've got a sketch option. I'm going to click the little arrow next to the word sketch brings a drop-down menu with all sorts of sketch options. I'm going to start with a circle, and this time I'm going to start with a center diameter circle, which means I click a center point and then specify a diameter. Now I notice that it's asking me which work plane do I want to place this on. I don't want to model this on the ground uh, or on this plane. I want the vertical plane on the left. That's a good place to start for my wristband. So I'm going to click one time right here. Click and now I want to start in the middle. It's a best practice to start right in the center so everything can be about my y and x axis. So right here at the zero, zero point, you'll notice I get a blue, light blue square that lets me know I've clicked right in the center. So I click one time right here, and I pull away, and now you notice I'm starting to set my diameter. It's three point something something inches. I can lock this in as something even if I hit the number three on my keyboard, you can see it adjusts down to three inches. If I hit enter on my keyboard now, it locks it in. You see the little lock. Now if I move my mouse in and out, it doesn't change from three inches. The only thing that changes now is, is this cross diameter dimension where it's located. So I can simply click off to one side, and there is my circle, three inch circle. Now I'm still in the sketch mode. You can see that from my cursor. There's still a little circle next to my cursor point there, so I can draw another circle without starting the command again. I'm already in it. I'll click on the center point. This time it's a little blue circle. I click one time and I pull away. I want my wristband uh, to be a little bit smaller than three inches. I can pull this away and simply type in 2.75 a little hard to see it with my mouse down. 2.75. You can see it pulls that out to 2.75 inches. If I hit enter, it locks it in. I can move my mouse now, but it's going to stay at 2.75 inches. I click, and that places that second circle. With the two circles, I've got what I need to run my wristband, so I can hit stop sketch. It automatically rotates me back to an overall view where I'm looking back at the, at the two circles. And now I can actually create the wristband. Up at the top, there is a modification or modify tool. I can click that drop down menu. And the first option is press pull. Very helpful command. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to grab the space that's in between the two circles. I'm going to use that to pull out my wristband. I can click the middle circle, that would just plot a cylinder in the middle, but I want to essentially create this external wristband. I'm going to highlight that, click one time. I know I've got it because it turns blue, that's what I want to extrude. I can come and I can pull this out, you notice it's going to pull to one side, but again, best practices, I want to keep the middle the middle, the center of my model. So I'm going to change this from direction one side to direction symmetric. Now as I pull this out, I'm pulling both sides. And I can do my instance, my distance, as one inch. That's going to lock that in. And I can say OK. And now I've got my wristband. To orbit in, in the fusion orbit mode, I can press shift on my keyboard and my middle mouse button uh, to begin to orbit. And that's it.